Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we are going to talk about this, the Iron Kin. The slow but steady trickle of teases and news for the leagues of Votan is continuing on, and this time round we've got the Iron Kin, which is an actual proper... AI. It is its own thing. It's not like a Mechanicum thing. It's not just a wiped brain stuck in a bowl and then stuck in a robot. No, this is its own actual, its own actual creation, which is one of the things that they said would set the Leagues of Votan apart from the Imperium, given that they share a, a similar heritage, shall we say. And I have to admit, I really, really like that as something that makes them so distinct and so different from the extremely overzealous Imperium, especially when it comes to things like artificial intelligences or abominable intelligences, if you are going to go from their point of view. This kind of thing is exactly the sort of thing that I want to see. There's obviously some very clearly Imperium-esque style design going on here, right? I mean, for a start, the weapons that the Leagues of Votan use is pretty close to what we see the Imperium use. There are parts here that look quite mechanicum, like that head design, that is not that far off the Castellan robot. But, but, there is a really cool detail about this. So, first of all, the model itself, I do quite like. It is a bit busy, but I love the detail of all the tools hanging off that apron at the front. Like, those pouches, the, the tools hanging below, what's clearly some sort of, like, power thing that's hanging off the belt as well. There's lots of little things about this that I really enjoy because you get a clear idea of what this is just by looking at it. You look at that and you know exactly what this is good at. It's right there on the model and it does make it look a little front heavy in a way. It does make it look a little bit cluttered, but it also gives a very good sense of purpose straight off the bat. Like there are, when it comes to this particular army, I'd suggest the way they're going about it in terms of in terms of the way the different units look, they're doing a great job of creating like a distinct a distinct feel for what their purpose in life is just by looking at the model. And this is a good example of that. I really like the way they've done it. You've of course got like humanoid proportions, well, squat-like proportions, but there's still it's still robotic, but there's little nods here and there. Little things that I don't think it needs, but it kind of adds a little bit of personality. This thing is wearing fingerless gloves. Fingerless leather gloves. Like, that's cloth. That's not metal, I don't think. It looks like there's a, a, a buckle on the inside of it when you look at the hand that's holding the gun. That is almost like a... It doesn't need this, but it's wearing them because it wants to wear them kind of feel to it. That's the impression I get, and it is kind of backed up, I think, by what they've said here. So... Each Iron Kin consists of a cerebral unit, woven with microfield generators that make it very hard to destroy, and a unique mechanical body. I like that sentence, that bit there. A unique mechanical body. An Iron King's body isn't just some component to be replaced, it's deeply personal as much as the bodies of their fleshy cousin, why would you write fleshy cousins, it just sounds so wrong, and designed to fulfil a certain niche, such as mining support units, cargo loggers, combat pilots, or shock troopers. Some iron can even serve as wayfinders whose accelerated logic cores help them cogitate probable paths through the warp, etc, etc. But that, that to me, is quite a big deal. And I like the fact they've highlighted that, and I like the fact that, I mean, that is a great way to make it so that when you are painting one of these, or if you're deciding to, uh, if you're deciding to, like, convert them in some way, they have every excuse to look different or interesting. They can stand out and... It works, because they're not just machines, they're not robots in the way that the Mechanicum has robots. They are their own individual unique personalities each and every time, just like their fleshy cousins, as they say. That's a great bit of lore, and it does a lot to make it so that these are like really adaptable to my mind now. You could make them look however you wanted, because they would want to look like that. And reading on, it says the purpose of the Iron King is to support the kin in every aspect of their lives, but it's important to know that they're not held in servitude, nor treated as lessers. They're simply designed to want to be helpful. However, they can only imitate the emotions. It's rare, but not unknown for an Iron King to possess ambition or seek to become a leader. Again, that feels like a green light, right? You want the leader of your Leagues of Vote army to be an Iron King? Fine, go for it. It's supported. It's, it's known. It's rare. But it's not unknown for an Iron King to possess ambition or seek to become a leader. Little things like that, I really, really like. And that kind of... 
even if I didn't like the model, which I do for the most part, I will say that side profile shot makes the head look a bit I don't know, it, it looks a bit weird to me. Even if I wasn't that big a fan of the model, which I do quite like, I, I really like the way they've presented this stuff. I really like that really extreme distinction, because it is an extreme distinction. Like, these are being properly set up as their own things, as something that is intelligent and capable of reason and not full emotion. I mean, it does say that they can only imitate it, but they can imitate it. That is a step above and beyond anything that the Mechanicum does in terms of their, like, their robots, their servitors, which I really, really like that. Now, they do talk about them being combatants and fighting alongside other kin warriors in pursuit of the goals of the leagues, and they often accompany the Iron Master's assistants alongside the less complex COG robots, which I don't know that we've seen any of those, have we? Offering technical support and pitching into combat in a pinch. I like these a lot. I really like these. It's another unit for this army that has got little bits of equivalent tech, things that we've seen for the Imperium, be it Space Marines, Guard, technically Gene Steeler Cult, um, or, or, or Mechanicum. It's all of this kind of mashed together, but kind of creating its own unique thing. And I think this, this is another good example of that. There is clear inspiration, there's clear stuff that's been taken from other factions based around the Imperium, but... It is its own creation. I'm super curious to see what their larger units look like and like what the what their kind of vehicles are gonna be are gonna be based off, like whether they're all gonna be hovering like the trike, whether there's gonna be more legs going on or more tracks. I'm actually kind of looking forward to seeing what else shows up for this army. I'm not someone who's like totally caught up in the nostalgia of it. I'm not someone who's that bothered about squats because they weren't around when I first started playing. But the reimagining that they're going through is super interesting when you compare it to other things that Games Workshop's done, and how prepared they are to completely disregard, in a way, what the Imperium does. They are just happy to go, well, actually, if you take all this technology that they do have access to, and then we apply it to this other faction that has none of the issues that the Imperium does with things like artificial intelligence and innovation and the like, this is what you get. And I really like that. Question is, what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things. Patreon videos, subscribe, that stuff. Click it if you like. Don't click if you don't want to. And as always, there's an affiliate link in the description for Element Games, which you can use to support the channel if you like. I leave it in your capable hands. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>